selling your soul, selling your soul to the devil. Mm. What about selling your soul to God? What about that one? But I just want to make this video, you know, just to uh, talk a little bit about selling your soul, selling your soul to the enemy, to the devil. What's up, you two? Spiritual J back with another video, man. I love all of y'all, man. I hope y'all are doing well. You staying safe. Um, but let's jump right into this. Selling your soul. How many people? How many people, man? How many people have do you know social media and stuff? You see that's so wicked, so demonic, so this and that, you know, they just ain't no godly in, in them. Ain't nothing godly about them. How many people you know you know like this? Well, see, a lot of people get it mixed up about what's really selling your soul. See, a lot of people think that it's sacrificing, you know, doing a blood oath and all this stuff. Many people think it's that. No. No. You know, no. You know, selling your soul is making a deal with the enemy, with the devil. Now, let me just say this. A lot of people, a lot of influencers, celebrities, you know, they they don't know that, you know, mostly mostly these these artists, these musicians. Some of them know that they sold their soul and these influencers that be on Instagram, you know, these OnlyFans people, porn stars, they all they all sold their soul and they don't even know it. Some of them don't even know it. You see, these these uh influencers on Instagram and stuff, what what do they do? They be half dressed on their showing a showing their body for views, for likes, for money, just content, you know. And let's just you know, let me just give some examples in this this video about selling your soul i'm gonna do it just break it down to where little kindergartners can can understand this i don't like to see all these people try to explain this stuff and they using these big words trying to sound so educated no i'm gonna just tell you how it is i'm gonna just tell you straight up the uh ghetto way is that is that how you want to say it <laughs> or just the uh my way so prime example these artists these musicians right Let's take some ex some people. I can either say Justin Bieber or Chris Brown. I could do one of them. Let me just do Chris Browns. Because people don't understand that they even they even tell you in their in their music that they sold their soul. Now Chris Brown when you first when he first came into the game, right? As like a little child, a little boy. And he he was so innocent. And mind you, y'all, like I like I just said, these artists they tell you in the music, they giving y'all hints and stuff. What do you mean by, by people be saying the crossroads? The crossroads. Look at Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know, see you at the crossroads. Come on now. Dmx even mentioned the uh, crossroads. I think I believe he did too. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I wasn't really no DMX uh, supporter or fan or anything like that. Um, but I believe he said something about the crossroads. But even but DMX even even had a song with um with that dude Marilyn Mason, Mason Marilyn, well, however, however you say his name, that a uh, demonic dude. And they had that song together. The um it's called the uh, uh Omen. I believe that's that's what it's called. And he even had he even. And the song talking, Marilyn Mason, that dude, he he playing as as the uh, devil, and then Max is acting like he's talking to the devil, and he and he's telling him, he's talking to Marilyn Mason like, oh what well, you told me I could do this, you told me I was gonna have this and have that and all this, so I I did all this stuff for you, sold my soul, you know he basically telling him that I sold my soul for all of this and you promised this to me and stuff. They're giving you. They're telling you right there in your face. Even with the crossroads, what Bone Thugs and Harmony. See, they even if y'all wanna go study on that, 
they even these artists even tell you about the crossroads. Even artists that have passed on already. It's telling you about the crossroads. They go to the crossroads to do these little spells and stuff, these little rituals. That's why you when you see these artists, they they leave for a little bit, and then when they come back. They all of a sudden they be these these big hit makers, making all this money, getting more and more fans, and their songs become more and more demonic. We know we seen artists that that do that disappear for a little while, then they come back, and they they get bigger than what they were, you know. And Chris Brown for, for like an example. So when he came into the game, he was so innocent. He had say goodbye with you forever he had all the love songs you know no cussing no nothing in it and then that whole situation happened with rihanna it's like after that that situation happened and what else nobody wanted to work with chris nobody wanted to nobody wanted to work with him you know and so he disappeared for a while then he comes back and now look at him he come with deuces. He come out with the cussing. Now his music, you know, talking about sex, the drugs. He's talking about the devil in his music. He ain't talking about God at all in his songs. He's talking about just the whole demonic stuff. You know? How did he go from that music to this music? Trying to fit in with the world. Now... He even told you in... He got this one song called Yellow Tape. It's on his Heartbreak on the Full Moon album. It's called Yellow Tape. He has... In that song... He's telling you. He's telling you right there. He said that he... He had a deal with... He, he even told you that he um talked to the devil. He said that... He had a meeting with the devil. And he said that, that the devil told him that... You can have all this fame and all this money, but your soul, I'm going to keep. This is what he said that the devil told him. He said that the devil is going to is going to keep his soul, but he's but he can have all the money and all the fame. If you don't believe me, go listen to the song yourself. It's on the hook. He says it. He talked about it. He said that he that he had a meeting with the devil. And that and that he sold his soul. He said he told you that he gave his soul to the devil for the fame and the money. But let's not get it twisted. For the real selling your soul, it's not like you you walking around and you soulless. No, you still have a soul inside of you. But selling your soul is what's going where where is your soul going when you die? Because we all going somewhere. It's where is where is where is your soul going when you die? That's the real question right there. And you know, you got all these people. Another example. These OnlyFans and porn stars. They come from a broken home and stuff. Even with these rappers. They come from broken homes and stuff. When you come from nothing. And you get and you get introduced with this contract. They, they put this contract in your face. With a lot of zeros on it. And what's in your mind is, damn, man, I can't stay in my situation where I'm at. I can't be in that situation. And then you see a contract in front of you, they're going to take that as an opportunity as, oh, shoot. So I could be a millionaire and stuff? Well, damn, man, I'm about to go ahead and do what I got to do. I'm about to go ahead and make this money, make this song. I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do. Get out the hood. This is their mindset, people. This is their mindset. They're telling you that they about to leave, that, you know, this is what the devil does. He presents this stuff in front of your face, and then when you accept it, boom, he got you. Now you got to make demonic music to, stay, to, uh, to uh, stay at the top. You got to make demonic music to stay at the top. You going to do whatever you got to do to stay at the top. Now back to Chris Brown. Look at another thing with Chris Brown. He wasn't in no gang. He wasn't no blood. No, no, none of that. He talking about he come from the streets. Y'all, I'm from, I'm from Virginia. I live in, I live in VA right now, currently. My dad's side is from Tappahannock. My mom's side is from, is from the other side. 
Come on now. Um, I be in the type of hand all the time. All the time. I used to stay in, in uh, top of hand all for the whole summer. There ain't no streets in top of hand. <laughs> Come on now, there's no streets in top of hand. So what bloods or what streets was he was he in? No, it's demonic. It's your listen. When you in this, when the devil got your soul, man, you gotta do whatever you gotta do to stay at the top. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to stay at the top. So now this is a new image that Chris has. He gotta he gotta be a fake blood. He gotta act like he he banging he banging bloods and stuff. Listen, you get killed for false claiming. This dude's actually out here who's killing people for false claiming. You get killed for that. Also with gangs. You get jumped in. And now the only way out is death or jail. Well, basically the only way out is jail. I mean, it's uh, death. That's the only way out. Death. Just like with gangs. You, you get jumped in. You sold your soul to the devil now. You join the gang. You sell your soul to the devil. That's what you did. Congratulations. The devil got your soul now. And when you got a reprobate in mind, the most high don't got nothing to do with you. If you have a reprobate in mind, go study about it. Go go read about it. A reprobate in mind. That means you just you just rejecting the most high. Anything that he teaches, you reject it. You you don't got nothing you don't got nothing to deal with with the most high. You don't got nothing, you don't even want to even hear about the most high. That's a reprobated minded person. You feel like your way is the only way. You could basically say that they, they sold their soul because they, they reject the most high. So they sold their soul. They don't want to listen to the most high. They decide to go go with Satan. You sold your soul. Now, and the only way to come out of it is death. And guess what? Your soul going to, to damnation now because you decide to live for Satan. It's going to the lake of fire now. The lake of fire was made for Satan and, and the false prophets and anybody who wanted to go there. Anybody who wanted to make that choice to go that route. And all the people who sell their soul, they made that choice. That's the choice that they made to go that route. And think about it, y'all. Just, just, think, just think about it. You know, and just like for OnlyFans people, porn stars, you... You decide to drop out of school. Now I hear about a lot of females that have uh, done this. You decide to drop out of to drop out of school. You want to drop out of school. Drop your job or do whatever you was doing. You you decide to get rid of that. To want to step in front of a camera and show your body for some money. When you decide to do that. And you stick with it, and now you stuck in it. Well, you ain't stuck in it, but now you 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 get so so you just start to love it because of the money that you get. You sold your soul. You sold your soul. Congratulations, you sold your soul. Sad man, it's sad. This is what this is what people are doing. They are selling their soul. When you decide to live for Satan, when, when Satan puts something in your face, when you think that it's the most high giving you an opportunity, that's what you think it is. But it's not. You got to have spiritual discernment. You got to have spiritual discernment. If you don't got spiritual, if you don't have, have that uh, spiritual stuff, you don't got the knowledge, the wisdom and stuff to it, then you're going to fall for anything. You're going to fall for that demonic stuff. You're, you're going to fall for that for that uh contract. You're gonna fall for that only fans and porn and stuff. These porn stars decide to, you know, I heard this, I seen this one porn star dude. He said that he made like this, this little testimony. And he did an interview on this podcast and he talking about how to get into the into the porn and like what what goes on in porn and all that stuff. 
And he even said himself that majority of those people who sign up for it, they be they don't want to do that that stuff, but they do it for the money. You sold your soul. You signed the contract, bro. And he said, most likely the the people that you he said the, he said the most likely the people that you see doing those videos, they most they most likely not even living anymore. He said because people are committing suicide for the videos that they do. That's the devil. That's the enemy right there. You commit suicide, your soul go to damnation for that for selling your soul. Not saying your soul go go to the lake of fire for for committing suicide because the Bible never said anything about that about committing suicide and your soul going going there. Well, Paul did mention something to somebody who said don't uh don't don't kill yourself, but they never said that your soul going to the lake of fire if you kill yourself. The Bible never said that. Not telling y'all to go out there and kill yourself now. Nah, not saying that. Not saying that. But still, because don't do that. Because the Most High, the Most High says says that that He kills. You go when when it's time for Him to say you go. But you sell your you sell your soul, you sell your soul when you decide to get into that mess. Who told you to sign up for porn? Who told you to step in front of that camera and? Put your and put your naked body in front of a camera. Who told you to do that? Nobody told you to do that. You wanted to do that. So when you do that, you sow your soul. That's what you. That's what you do when you do that stuff. Who told you to uh, do that? Nobody did. Well, Satan. Told you he he showed you that he showed you that that's an opportunity for you to make some money. But listen to it, y'all, magician, musician. Think about it. That's why that's why you hear most people say that these artists spoke their own death. That's why you hear hear people say that magician. Musician, we all know that magic is witchcraft, sorcery, and that's demonic. We know that. That's why you see most of these majority of these artists are demonic. That's why you see that majority of them are demonic. I'm telling you, y'all, this stuff is real. Majority of them are demonic, and they speak their own stuff into their life. Come on now. When you hear them talking about talking about the devil and how they sold they sold, they're not they're not just just talking. They're not joking about it. They actually serious. They actually sold their soul. They decided to start that they wanted to live for Satan for that quick money. Yeah, it's easy for you to to make a hit when you when you rapping for the devil. When you rapping about worldly stuff, about about all this cars and jewelry and money and and sex and drugs. Yeah, it's easy for you to to make a hit. And guess what? It's going to always be somebody coming after them. Rapping for the devil. But who rapping for the most high? Who rapping for God? Who's singing for God? Because look like all these, any you no know, R&B singers no more. It's it's just everybody that, that want to be rappers now. Everybody want to be a rapper. And getting that easy, quick money. And boom. When you die, your soul go into damnation. Your soul go to the lake of fire. Go read Revelation. I'm gonna make a video about Revelation, about the uh, judgment, judgment day and stuff. What the Bible says. What the Bible says, not my opinion. What the Bible says about it, about judgment day, and who ends up where. So y'all, I just wanna make that video. You know, that's that's what you. That's what it really means to sell your soul. That's what it is to sell your soul. Not you walking around, you don't have no soul inside of you when you be like, those are soulless beings. No, everybody has a soul inside of them. You're, we're, we're all souls. Yes, we're all souls. But it's just about what type of spirit that's connected to your soul. It's either the Holy Spirit or a demonic spirit. What soul is connected, what spirit is connected to your soul? Some people just made, it, made a choice that 
they ain't never gonna get right. That what they doing right now, this little quick, fast, easy money, this wicked, demonic stuff that they doing. They said they decided that that's what they're gonna do for the rest of their life. They said that that's that they found their their career. They found their purpose. Some people's purpose is to be wicked because we are living with Satan's children, the serpent seed. We are living with Satan's children. Some of the some of these people are highly favored by the devil. They're living for the devil. They are here for the devil. And it, and that's why the Bible say it, says that it's going to be few in heaven. Because the majority of the people in this life, the Most High already know. He already knew, man. That majority of the people in this world are going to reject the word. And they're going to end up on that wrong side. He already knows that. It wouldn't be in the word if, if it wasn't true. He already knows that. Majority of the people in this life are going to end up on that wrong side into the lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone. They're going to end up on that wrong side. And it's going to be mostly your family, friends, husband, wife, brother, sister. It's going to be it's going to be mostly them. Might be even your kids. Uh-oh. Might be you if you're not careful. So y'all um like comment and subscribe y'all i just want to make that video don't want to talk your head all too much longer but uh, thank y'all for all the support man make sure you're liking the video man sharing the video too with your family or anybody that that needs to see this i'm out peace